This is a Willits Point Shea Stadium bound 7 express train. The next and last stop is Willits Point Shea Stadium. You mentioned Tyler Glass now, so I want to mention him as well. Uh, this season, 10 and 7 with a 3.53 ERA. 21 starts was the most of his career. It's concerning for me that he's been injury prone, and I kind of want to stay away from that. I feel like if we were a player away, I might entertain this as that final piece of the rotation. Let's see if we can, you know, get that, you know, 1A, 2A, 3A top line starter because we know he's got the talent. Right. But what with history has shown, especially with this team and injuries, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm willing. I don't think they have to give up a top, top prospect since he's going to be a free agent next year. But I don't know if I'm willing to do this with Tyler Glass now for one year and then it doesn't work out. I don't know, man. I'm just not in on it. it it's it's a dub. It's like I'm teetering left and right because like the devil on my shoulder is saying the guy has not been healthy throughout his career. Do you really want to give up assets when you don't know how much of a turnout you're getting next year? He could be productive, but for how long? Right. That's a question mark. But then I have the angel on my shoulder is saying this guy is literally looks ex exactly like one of my favorite actors in Killian Murphy. Uh, so that's a plus. Um he has great personality. I love him. He remind he has that Trevor May, Adam Adovino type vibe, very much down for TV. I know he's worked with John Boy in the past. Re just seems like a great human being. Love his arsenal. I've always been a Glass Now fan. Even when he was in Pittsburgh, when he when he was actually getting that arsenal to start to work, it was exciting to see. Speaking of Trevor Williams, he was Trevor Williams' teammate there back in the day, as was the case with Garrett Cole too. I'm sure. So uh, there are a lot of aspects of Tyler Glassnow's game that I like that I would be very excited if the Mets land him. But I know that there are a lot of risks involved with that. And I, given the type of team that the Mets currently are and how they're profiling versus others, I think Glassnow is destined to land elsewhere. And the Atlanta Braves definitely stick out to me. The Cincinnati Reds stick out to me because they've the actually Reds. been in recent trade talks with him, which would be a very interesting move for Cincinnati and their fans. They deserve that should have happened. Um, I think NL Central and Elise makes sense. But then it's like at that point, it's like you got to throw in the Dodgers because they're so desperate for pitching. And if, say, they lose out on a Dylan Cease trade, they may pivot and say go to glass down Freeman having all that experience during his time in Tampa could bode well. So a, a lot of question marks with glass now, but. I understand both sides of the coin pretty well.